Welcome to the Water of Life, on the 28th September to the 4th of October, 2020. Negativity. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Last week, we examined the topic, the new normal. Taking a look at our new way of life through God's lens as a great opportunity to reposition ourselves and thrive in this dispensation. Our topic this week is negativity. The Cambridge Dictionary defines negativity as an attitude that is not hopeful or enthusiastic. It goes one step further to use the word in a sentence in order to give it context. Its context sentence is there's too much negativity in the world today. How apt! You do not have to go very far to see the truth in the context sentence. Everywhere you turn to these days, it seems there is bad news. The media is full of news about rising COVID-19 infection rates, rising debt, imminent lockdowns, loss of employment, increased debt rates, gloomy economic outlook for the vast majority of people, and so on. You can almost feel a palpable loss of positivity and hope in this season, with the seemingly relentless onslaught of negativity. As Christians, we need to be reminded of and remember to share the good news, the hope we have in Jesus Christ, which is our anchor in this sea of negativity. When the children of Israel were about to make their second major journey after crossing of the Red Sea, God told Joshua to tell the Israelites that they should not be afraid, but to move forward with a positive spirit to be strong. Examine yourself. Are you strong in the Lord? Strength in the Lord does not equate to physical strength, but rather a measure of your willingness to stick with God's way, like Deborah, David and Daniel did in the Bible. As global leaders and institutions flip-flop in their responses to the current pandemic, now is the time to be strong in the Lord and avoid negativity. God's way is constant and guarantees successful outcomes in His will. Negative persuasion and influence. Do not be persuaded by negative doctrines that do not align with God's truth, even when it seems so attractive. Likewise, be careful of negative influence which may alter your perception of this new normal we all live in. Examine yourself. Have you been a positive or negative force during this season? Do you give hope to the people around you and those you can influence, or do you transmit negativity? In these dark times where positivity and hope are scarce commodities, be the light the world needs as you reflect Jesus, the light of the world and hope of all nations. Consider these things and let us pray. Heavenly Father, empower me to be strong in you to avoid negativity in this season. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Read on in this week's World of Life Digest and be blessed. of peace ministries empowering and changing lives for god's kingdom through the water of life digest